Welcome Kings 11 fans to the first edition of Maxi's blog. So I'm going to start by interviewing uh, Mitchell Johnson before our, our rivalry round. We were playing against our uh, teams from last year. Um, Mitch, obviously, Good. big game against Mumbai. They're 0-5 um, and, and we're 5-0. Oh. Uh, looking forward to inflicting more pain, I'm sure. Uh, have you got your eye on who you're going to target uh, in the uh, top order so far? Um, no, it's a big game, yeah. We're 5 from 5 and they're the opposite. So uh, it's, it's been a good start from us. and. Back here, I've always enjoyed bowling here. I think the wicket's pretty good for, for bowling and batting. Um, it was obviously a little bit there early, and um, I think uh, with, as a bowler, you can you can get some early breakthroughs, but um, oh, no one in particular. Um, probably like to maybe bowl to a few of their bowlers, maybe. Oh, that'd be uh, nice. <laughs> I think they might be missing us a bit. I think so, they definitely are. I think they're missing a few ex Mumbai. I think Rishi Darwin's another one, and uh, Dwayne Smith, who's performed brilliantly for Chennai. All right. Hey Kings 11 fans, it's Maxie again. Happy to be back with you. Today we've got G. G, talk to me, we've got the Mumbai Indians last year's champions. Tell me, what are you looking forward to most tomorrow? Apart from obviously winning, what are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to see you hitting sixes. This, this is a good man, good man to interview. Um, a lot's been talked about Mitchell Johnson returning home um, and bowling against uh, some of his ex-teammates. Uh, who do you think he's going to specifically target? I think he's going to target all the batsmen and uh, I want him to target Pollard especially. Oh dear. Yeah, because yeah. don't want him to hit sixes and want to hit over him. Yeah, <laughs> get a bit of chin music up yeah. there. Um, just uh, on a less serious note, um, you had a little bit of a photo shoot today. So uh, tell us how your modelling career is going and um, what was your what was your favourite outfit that you had to wear today? Uh, modelling career? Um, you consider yourself a bit of a male model, don't you? Well, I sort of ended uh, there for a while. I used to do some jockey sort of <laughs> jockey stuff, so I just throw that in there. Oh, Kings 11 are really looking forward to the next edition <laughs> when we bring that out. <laughs> yeah, so that was quite interesting. Uh, no, it was good today. It was a lot of fun. I actually quite enjoyed that. It was you know, the boys made it really exciting, and, and yeah. we all had a bit of fun with it. So uh, probably the last outfit, actually, the the, the army type. Fishing, when we were going duck hunting, hunting duck whatever hunting. we were doing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, It was no, a good, good winter was, edition, that was. It was good, it was a good finish, so everyone, everyone enjoyed that, I think. Right. Just, Here just, comes the slogger, yes. from Mumbai Indian to Punjab. You know what? Slogger to slogger. <laughs> <laughs> Baji taught me everything I know, he knows about slogging. So yeah, not uh, the reverse sweep though. No. The best uh, jokes, this guy knows. He's the funniest guy. So this is nice. See so what Kings 11 have acquired? A joker. Yeah. We need a joker back. <laughs> you are joker back. <laughs> you're not. You're not getting them. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, buddy. Um, just uh, a few of the boys have been doing some extracurricular activities. What have you been doing outside of uh, outside of training, outside of cricket? Nothing. Nothing. I watching TV series. Yeah, obviously. What's your, TV, what's your favorite TV series? Suits. Suits. You yeah. love it. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure we got a few Suits fans out there in Kings Eleven, Kings Eleven land. Uh, Without mentioning myself, because obviously I'm the funniest bloke by an absolute mile in this squad, who's, who's your funniest teammate and why? I think uh, Sandeep Sharma. Oh, he's going to be a popular one on this edition. He's, he's very funny because because of those jokes yeah. that um, he tells everybody. Yeah. yeah, he's kind of funny. Yeah. And tell us just quickly about your budding relationship with uh, uh, one pretty Zinta. Just, just wondering how your, uh, how your relationship's going there. If there's any, been any proposals or anything like that. Nah, I, I just respect her as an owner. Yeah. And uh, that's it. Otherwise, she's Not, very friendly. I can't get a word in. You're always having conversations with her, inviting her out for coffees and things like that. Yeah, but she's sweet, right? Yeah, she's a lovely yeah. lady. Lovely yeah. lady, pretty. So uh, we're very lucky to have a, such a, a loving owner of a player. She gets around the boys. She loves celebrating with us, and um, we're very lucky. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us, G. You're an absolute champion. One of my favourite blokes in the team because he's an absolute legend and he's going to smack him. Thank you very much for joining us on the first edition here, uh, Mitch. Obviously, we'll be catching up at some stage for your jockey uh, photos. Um, hopefully, we can get hold of those on the internet somewhere. No uh, worries, Dan. Thanks for having me. That's all right. All right, guys, tune in. Hopefully, we can uh, make it 6-0 against Mumbai tomorrow and uh, keep, keep watching and go Kings 11.